from Saudi Arabia says how to do istikhara and how do we know that the answer well this is a common misconception when people want something they usually think that by praying istikhara something will happen so Allah would show me the choice so if I want to buy a red car or a black car and I'm hesitant I'm not sure which one is best so I pray istikhara and ask Allah Azza wa to choose for me and then I expect maybe lightning thunder maybe a dream maybe uh, a black cat would come into the house so I know I should buy a black cat or a blue uh, uh, dog or whatever starts to to bark this is not the case istikhara is that you have to make a choice so you do your homework blue or black mm, no, I'm gonna go for blue black always gets dust and and it's always looks dirty and scratches appear easily on it I'm gonna go for blue I made up my mind then I pray istikhara asking Allah Azza wa Jal to facilitate it for me if there's good in it for me or otherwise to deflect it away from me and decree what is best for me so now I've, I've got my mind made up and I have the car in mind I've got the money in my pocket I prayed my istikhara I go to the showroom the following day with my money with my documents and I continue to buy the car normally if there's good in it for me Allah would make it happen so many times a lot of the brothers I, I face this myself something happens that stop the process so I've got my money I have everything when I go there oh it's a far away a uh, uh, showroom and when I reach there and they say okay let's do the documents and everything registration they take my ID card to Xerox it and all of a sudden it doesn't work so I said oh I'm sorry we can't uh, go ahead with the process until uh, we Xerox your ID card come tomorrow we'll try to fix it and it's a half an hour or an hour drive I know that this is from Allah Azza wa immediately I feel this is not my car Alhamdulillah so this is a concept of istikhara that you choose you want to marry a, a woman you you saw her and uh, or you're going to see her tomorrow you're going to propose tomorrow you pray istikhara and go ahead with it it's not a dream that you're going to see there's no thunder or lightning that will come in and tell you or a voice from the heavens telling you okay go ahead and take it it's nothing like that you're simply asking Allah to facilitate things for you